want to die. I'd feel happier if we had a gun or something. Can gave me something. What? His handbag. Chlamydia. If we run into any killers, we can give him a good buffeting. Didn't he have any weapons? You don't know that. He was a fucking, like, Mossad secret agent. He might have had a gun in it. Why didn't you say so? Boy, we'll show him now. What's C4? Plastic junk. Boy, C4. We're going to shop our way to victory? Two kilos of plastic. If he doesn't know what C4 means, he's really going to know what plastic means. No problem. We'll buy a box of matches somewhere. It doesn't work that way. It takes a small explosion to start the big explosion. Whoa. Uh, well, that's not much dramatic. Easier. What does that sign say? Uh, apparently, during the English Civil War... Small explosion inside. Century, this place was used <laughs> as an arms dump. Yeah? What happened? Look at what the of this dump. place, George. You work it out. Oh, stray spark? Massachusetts? The tower was the only thing to survive the blast. I hope the explosion didn't destroy the sword of Baphomet. Do you? Which is the I rather <laughs> hope it did. Or at least that it broke it, you know? Led into the tower. Yes, Mom's you're very... a large arch. You zing. Okay. Well, this, is a, this is a very pretty room. Let's go to this door in absolute silence. I tried say. pushing the panel, but wasn't surprised. You did not. You just tapped it. Above the carved cross was an indecipherable I, I know, George. I am watching you right I now. Knew, it could have been scribed in Gaelic. Nico? Uh-huh. I know Gaelic, George. What are you doing? I'm going to tie you up and kiss you again. Is that weird? Can you read it? No. What's the point of studying the inscription if you can't read it? Because it could be important. A clue to whatever we're looking for, who knows? I might find someone in Stirling to translate it. We don't have time to go looking for linguists. No? At least I am uh, doing... Oh, for God's university. sake, George, you've spent this entire game what going off on half-cocked red herrings. You're the language student, you tell me. It looks like ancient Norse. Maybe. Perhaps it's in code. I thought you said you couldn't I tell if it was Gaelic. So. Norse code. Uh, Norse is a Norse, of course, of course. Yes. <laughs> I scrabbled around in the rubble and it found is, of course, unless that Norse is the famous Viking Ed. I'll cut you. I got Under you. one of the stones, I found a metal coin which was green with age. You don't have to specify metal with a coin. Any other it thing you really have to specify. Soil, but what I'd found was a small cog and spindle. Okay. With mounting excitement, yeah. I felt something between my fingers. It was short, hard, it and It was black. a fetus. Something I hadn't expected it was a to penis. find here. <laughs> It was a plastic oh, pen top. Oh. I didn't find anything. You, you, you did, though. The handle turned easily, and the larger wheel began to revolve. He's just lying to her already. That seems Damn. bad. Then it the does. handle came off in my hand. Like a penis. Now that the handle was gone, it was easy to remove the cog and spindle. What are you doing? He's removing the cog and spindle. <laughs> you gonna talk to her about the clown now? Sometimes the most childish gestures can have a cathartic effect. The transformation of the demon to a clown did just that <sighs> for me. I... I it... <sighs> I pushed the pen into the, the mouth. Plastic pen tip up the nose. Somewhere inside the statue, it had probably gone straight to What the fuck are hell. we doing, George? <sighs> yeah, because George, a Californian, is going to use the term "biro." He looked happy, yeah. homely, like somebody's granddaddy. What do you think you're doing, Josh? Also, an American wouldn't say "homely" with that meaning. The demon's mouth. Maybe you should show a little more respect. For a mythical medieval demon? Give me a break. Okay. 
Go right ahead. You Meddle with demon. forces you don't understand. Incur the demon's wrath and burn in hell. Just see if I care. <laughs> God damn, Nico went fucking dark there all of a sudden. Well, the cards. You kind of take advantage of her being tied side. up. Eh. That's not sexy. With George, a rash what of the metal fuck are you stone, doing? I eased the second eye into place. Cog, it's not an eye. Just because you put it in the socket. I pushed the hand. What is he doing? This makes no sense. The cogs all meshed. I began to turn. <sighs> okay, that looks silly. And okay, so you have to know to use those three things on it, and then you can just put other random shit on it as well, I guess. Seems as that soon way, as yeah. I saw the flickering torches, I realized the bogus Templars had beaten us to the sword. But where were they now? And why was it so quick? Where are they now? 80s edition. The powder spilling from In the sink. reminded me of <laughs> pirate stories I'd loved when I was a kid. It was gunpowder. And it cocaine. Was definitely gunpowder. It's great to know, George. Over the centuries that lain here undisturbed. Oh, there's a... Oh, fuck, what are those Listen, things called? The things that drove the ship in Alien. You're right. I hear it too. Um, what do you suppose they're pilot? doing? It wouldn't yeah, surprise me if they were holding there. some kind of satanic sex ritual. So, what are we waiting Let's for? Let's go see that. Shh. You want to hold a satanic sex ritual of our own? Got some tentacles over here. <laughs> Hentai. Oh my. His oh, he's on biting fire. on the stone. <laughs> while, while his hair's on fire. <laughs> Will you look at that? I the just shut. Love we can see point. you. This place was ancient even to the Templars. This whole place? Is that Baphomet? No. Finally, no. The truth. It's that not. This whole place is Baphomet? What? No more than they'd worship a rainbow. But, like a rainbow, they regarded it as a symbol of a covenant with God who'd revealed this place to them. Well, yes, that's how dealing with images works. You don't yeah, think Yeah, I was going to say, like... Russell, <laughs> why is it double-dealing treacherous? On the contrary. She does not look like the same person. Inspector Rosso no. has been the model of obedience. An important quality in a true Templar. Now be quiet and watch if you wish to live much longer. Okay. Cool. Mm. How much is much longer? Is that the sword? Brothers and it. sisters, we are gathered here to witness the reforging of the sword that was Oh broken. dear God! Here before it looks pretty reforged Central already. Baphomet. <laughs> I baphometed up a blue batch of. You see that guy behind us with the gun? I just noticed him. Georgie talked to us and threatened us. We salute and pledge <laughs> our obedience. Baphomet. He sounds like he's like trying out to be the new lead singer of fucking Whitechapel. Or I salute you, gatekeeper of the temple. Seven As usual, just kind of a bunch of chubby Our white guys and uncomfortable looking clothes. Was lost to us. Now like we Congress. prepare to reforge it, to wield against new enemies. As yeah, we know! We know! Rise, Get to the reforging! This world looks for new coincidental timing for them to arrive for the, uh, the ceremony. Well, from the fact that they keep we restating things already, this, this ceremony has probably been going on for like three hours. All borders will dissolve. Four days. 
all will be united under the oh red god every time john gets blood. the fucking podium he's got to go on and on about the new world order we know john we all signed the petition jeez Still looking for a sword that needs to be reforged. Maybe he is the sword? Maybe. <sighs> no, Gargamel has said it clean. <laughs> Jangway. <laughs> I'm going for Azrael, but same. We difference. have watched <laughs> your efforts to stop us with respect, but surely you realize you should have tried bullets. that you have been misled <laughs> by our enemies. Both of us want a better world for you. <laughs> No this guy with the gun just trained on us. I think Mr. Monopoly with the gun trained on me is, is kind of making it hard to take you seriously, guys. Join us, George. Join us in the true brotherhood. Yeah. True. Do I get tenure? Look at her legs. Wait. It looks like two Robinson. fucking MS painted sticks. What about Marquette? Really does. What about Pegram and Klausner? You didn't look on them as brothers, only as failures. What about Syphil and Ollie and, and, and you don't give a Cubby damn. and Nat and Roy. George, you know John, that George, Ringo. sacrifices are necessary. Why is it that with every cut here we get a little bit of static? I feel like I'm watching 80s porn on a, on a scrambled I'll television. See you in hell well, first. Clearly, it's someone throwing oh, in flash frames gosh. from Fight Club. Uh. I had great hopes for you, Senegal. I hope he means boner. Kill him. This is Eklund? Wow, Eklund is a shitty assassin. He just, like, let an untrained civilian. He wasn't really aiming very well, either. Also, you notice we don't appear to be playing or anything here. This is all a cutscene. Pretty gruesome death for this cartoony old game. Kind of fits the cat like. I just wanted things to be right. Whoa! What did they record him in a tin can? Them. Is this Shakespeare Kill play all of a sudden? Them. What the hell? They will not escape. Well, it's like the one not white guy in the entire thing. He had to die. Well, well. None of this he makes any sense. The great detective and his beautiful assistant. Guido it's the going Templar? It's a pleasure killing the pair of you. Josh, what are we going to do? Thanks for calling me beautiful. Well, I'm going to talk to him and show him a clown of a, no or a nose clown. Or a clown. Goddamn, a clown nose. Come on, That's what I always do. Well, he stood still an awfully long time to let that happen. Yeah. Cannot escape us. So all this damp and moldy but stuff is going to burn it enough to be dangerous. As long as they just have a small explosion. Then all the C4. Ooh, all right. He's all 300 years old. Stop talking. <laughs> or in her handbag, to be exact. And a handbag full of plastic explosives. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to spell everything out. My God. It was just a couple minutes ago. Oh. So, we're literally just killing everyone? Is that. That doesn't make any sense. It's still not an explosion, it's just fire. <laughs> and they die. <laughs> no 
Well, okay. What? They were blowing in opposite directions. With, like, tons of shrapnel in each body, yet they somehow wound up by a... Why didn't anybody else run out? How did they get past Guido who had a fucking knife? You know, you'll never be able to write your story now. I you don't expect care. too much. I've got what I want. Huh? Just tell me one oh, thing, Jesus, George. Lady. Is our life together always going to be this crazy? Yeah. We didn't even get a one-liner answer to that? Boy, that was... I mean, there were some nice little bits, but the... just didn't hold together at all, and it didn't feel like a game. A, a nice ending would have made it made it fine. You think? I think it still it, 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 well, it would have made it better. Um, like, was there a broken sword in any of that? It, the only sword we saw was in one piece. And I don't get what the sword would have accomplished. I don't understand. Like... Everything about that just seemed kind of half-assed. Yes. I feel like I've gotten a little Jimmy Stewart while I'm bitching and thing. Where, where is the sword? The London Metropolitan Orchestra. I mean, that's, I guess, wow. special thanks to Heather Lovejoy. Right on that list. Quality assurance, John and Martin, you needed more people on your team. Product analysis, like, apparently an entire team was like, I, I think it'll sell okay. <laughs> it was a manual. Someone wrote the manual. Someone got credit for writing the manual. Oh, and Steve Jackson did the Templar book. Okay, so Steve Jackson, assuming it's the same guy, Steve Jackson games, they make some good stuff. They do. So, I don't know, people digging this, maybe we'll have to come back and uh, take a look at the second one and see if it makes any more sense. Oh, here we go. We endeavor to wield the sword of very long and mercy. For those about to rock, we salute you. The fate had marked Jordan Nico. In a bad way. Find out in Broken Sword 2, the jungle on the other side of the world. Sounds like. <laughs> Broken Sword 2. Or, wait, yeah, Shadow of the Trusters. Broken Sword 2, Brokener. Swordier. <laughs> two here. everyone well thank you for joining us that was geekmeister played that right thanks to geekmeister yes well done playing that as god awful is that i mean it seems like it would be an easy enough game to play it's like click on one person and just let it go for like five minutes you know then just knowing figuring out some of the puzzles yeah some of that stuff if you didn't know the right order to do things it seemed tedious to us but i think geekmeister was still doing it the fastest way possible oh yeah 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 except <laughs> lighting the goddamn candle Oh, so ridiculous. All right, well, until next time, this is Michael T. Bradley. And this is Skix. And we are...